Once upon a time, my brother and sister-in-law opened the world's coolest bike shop, Wilson Backcountry Sports, in the beautiful mountain valley of Wilson, Wyoming. We love to visit and take part in outdoor fun and adventures, rafting, hiking, cruising, floating in the river, and of course, mountain biking. Wilson Backcountry Sports has many products and services making it the finest, including the Precious, a complimentary shuttle service that will get you on the trail in a hurry. Not just any boring old shuttle, the Precious is a 1980s Suburban in semi-mint condition. Traded by its owner for a bike a few years ago, the Precious will haul you and up to seven of your friends and your bikes to your next mountain bike adventure. After many rides in the Precious, we noticed her trouble area. The saggy, baggy ceiling fabric needed some attention. In the spirit of giving back to our people and the shop that had given us so much, we decided to collaborate on a new headliner. With no previous experience on this type of job, but everyone ready to pitch in, including Kiki, we put our creative thinking caps on, and here's how the project played out. We disassembled the framework. We took out all the screws and bolts out of the handles, plastic edge pieces, visors, and light fixtures. Someone had the brilliant idea to map and label all of the hardware that was removed. This proved to be a key element in putting it all back together in the end. Once unattached, the ceiling panels slid out quite easily. We scraped off all the old, gross foam. It came off pretty easy with a simple metal scraper. Once cleaned up, we got ready to recover the panels. The fabric my sister-in-law had picked out was epic, comically colorful and woodsy. Since we were patching the wacky fabric pieces together and wanted to make sure we had enough fabric to cover everything, we laid out the design before we started gluing. Ice cream break. Gotta keep the little workers happy. Now it was time to glue. We used a 3M multi-purpose spray adhesive found at the local hardware store and followed the instructions on the can. Piece by piece and layer by layer, we sprayed the back of the fabric and the headliner and carefully arranged the fabric pieces. The glue was very sticky, so getting it right the first time was the goal. The rubber roller we also picked up at the hardware store really helped flatten and smooth down the fabric. Where we had gaps, we added an extra background fabric so we completely covered the headliner. Finally, it was time to put the ceiling pieces back in. It was nice to have lots of helpers around to manage the overhead work and in getting the pieces into the right place. We used liquid nails and a caulking gun along the inside of the roof to better hold the pieces in place and keep it from ever sagging again. We came up with the idea to use telescoping ski poles to hold the headliner in place while the glue dried. It actually worked out perfectly. Then it was time to refer back to our hardware map and systematically put all of the pieces back into place. Patience was required as this took some moving and wiggling around to get the holes lined up. And there you have it, a brand new, not so subtle headliner to study and admire on your next shuttle ride in the Precious. So grab your bike, your helmet, and your best riding buddies and head on out to Wilson, Wyoming, where the services are commendable and the mountain biking is world class. Thanks Wilson Backcountry Sports for all you do.